station that's working for you. Covering Boca Raton, the Palm Beaches, and the Treasure Coast, this is CBS 12 News at 11. No treatment and no defense. A new superbug has arrived in Florida and it's quickly spreading across the country. This bacteria is especially worrisome since modern medicine has nothing to fight it. And the superbug is immune to every treatment that we can throw at it. And just hours ago, we learned it is now in Florida. The news alert, CBS 12's Mark Carlos Von Hull has more about the outbreak that suddenly has Florida doctors paying attention. JC. Yeah, it's not known where in Florida the superbug was detected. The scariest part, it cannot be treated with antibiotics yet. But as it turns out, local hospitals have been preparing for it in a way. At Good Samaritan Medical Center, infection control coordinator Maritza Ortiz has been ready for the superbug, having taken precautions from another antibiotic-resistant bacteria, MRSA. We've had prepared for this um, for several years, decades now. By all accounts, it's medical warfare, and the superbug is a formidable foe. First identified in India and England, the superbug has now popped up in 35 states, including Florida. The bacteria are equipped with a gene that enables them to produce an enzyme that disables antibiotics. What we're seeing now is nature fights back. Um, we're seeing now uh, bacteria develop the ability to uh, not be susceptible to the antibiotics we have. Infectious disease specialist Dr. David Dotson says that the superbug developed because of the overuse of antibiotics. It typically strikes the critically ill and kills 30 to 60 percent of its victims. Nurse Cindy Dawson says the overuse of the drugs has made her rethink her family's course of treatment when they're sick. It's made me tend to not treat infections and kind of let them run their course as opposed to um, treating something that has the potential to be a virus rather than a bacteria. Doctors say the bacteria are more worrisome than well-known MRSA because more drugs are available to treat MRSA. This is relatively new here and no one's rushing to produce new drugs to handle the superbug, Liz. Thanks, Juan Carlos. And more